temporal model, we, we have discussed the probability presenting with respect to time, and we have discussed that the environment is changing with respect to time, so that we are just uh, obtaining the state of the environment by using different set of random variables. Okay, so here, since at every instant of time, we are just obtaining the random variables here, so that we will be having infinite number of random variables. So to solve this problem, we have discussed that we are using the stationary process. So if you use the stationary process, the conditional distribution will be using only for the variables at the given representative time slot. We are also uh, limiting the number of parents by using uh, macro assumption. So if we have used first order macro assumption and second order macro assumptions. And uh, using that, we are limiting the parents. And uh, we also discussed how to find out the probability distribution uh, using all these variables in the previous session. Okay. Now we will be discussing what is inference in temporal model. So in the inference in temporal model, so first we will be set up to set up the structure of generic temporal models. First we'll be setting uh, setting up the structure of generic temporal model so that we can formulate the basic inference task that must be solved. So what is here? We are finding the basic inference. Inference is nothing but we are finding the conditional probabilities. Okay. So here we are just obtaining the conditional probabilities. Now we'll discuss what are the different conditional probabilities we are obtaining here. So here in this particular topic, we are discussing four topics. Four, four topics. Now in the inference in temporal model, we are discussing four topics. The first one is filtering or monitoring. So this is the first topic. The second one is prediction. The third one is smoothing or inside. And fourth one is mostly likely explanation. Okay, these are the four topics we are going to discuss. So what is inference? Inference is nothing but we are finding the conditional probability distributions. Okay. So in the filtering and monitoring, what is this? This is the task of computing belief state. So what is that here? We are finding the belief state. What is belief state? Belief state is nothing but the posterior distribution over the current state given the evidences to till today okay so we are just obtaining the posterior and posterior is nothing but what conditional distribution okay we are finding the conditional distribution of current state given all the evidences that is called filtering okay so in the filtering what is that we are doing we are finding the probability of xt what is xt is the current state so given the evidences from 1 to t okay so we have the evidences till today till today okay and based on these evidences we are finding the probability of the current state that is called filtering okay so we know that the evidence will start arriving arriving from t is equal to zero whereas the state state variables will start from t is equal to zero okay so here we are taking the evidence so evidence is, is a continuous stream beginning at t is equal to 1. So in the umbrella example we have discussed, no? here the security guard will be at the underground uh, uh, security installation. He will be getting the information about the weather by seeing his director every day morning. So if the director is coming with the umbrella means he assumes that there is raining outside. If the director is not coming with umbrella means he assumes that he is not raining outside. So outside weather information the security guard will be getting by using the evidence variable. What is the evidence variable here is the umbrella and uh, director is carrying umbrella is the evidence variable. So in the umbrella example, this means that what is that uh, here? The filtering means the probability of rain today what is rain is the current state state is represented by rain here the umbrella is the evidence here okay so we are finding the probability of rain today given all the observations of observations are nothing but the evidences that is umbrella carrying okay given all the observations of umbrella carrier made so far so we are just measure, measuring the umbrella 
are carrying till today based on that we are finding the probability of rain today okay so that is called filtering so filtering is what a rational agent need to do in order to keep the track of current state so filtering will be the uh, procedure that is that agent has to do to keep the track of current state okay based on filtering only the agent is able to keep the track of current state so that rational decisions can be made okay so once the agent knows the current state he is able to make the decisions okay so that is why the getting current state is very important so once we know the current state of the environment what is that agent can do some actions on the environment so the rational decisions can be made okay. now the next topic is prediction so what is the prediction here the prediction is the task of computing the posterior distribution over the future state okay so here we are finding the posterior distribution posterior is or the conditional distribution over the future state given all the evidence till to date okay so the evidences are given till to to date but we need to find out what is the probability of future state okay so how do we represent we represent this as probability of x of t plus k t is the current state x t is the current state since here we are finding future state no? how do you represent future state probability of x t plus k will give us future state given e power 1 is to t so the evidence is we have till to t okay so what we are finding the So here, so in the umbrella example, what is that here? We are finding the probability of rain three days from now. So not today. We are finding the probability of rain three days from now. Okay, three days after what how, how is the weather we are measuring? Okay, given all the observations of umbrella carriers, carrier made so far. So based on Umbrella carry carrier till today, based on this information, we are finding the rain probability of getting rain three days from now. So on the future day, what is the uh, get, uh, getting rain we are finding? Okay. So the prediction is useful for evaluating possible courses of actions. Okay. So the, the prediction is very useful for finding the possible courses of action. So what are the actions we can we have to take in the future okay so to find out that the prediction is very useful the next topic is smoothing or thin side this is the task of computing posterior probability distribution over the past state we are finding the probability distribution over past state that is called uh, smoothing given the evidences till today okay so we have evidences still to date, but we are finding the probability of past date. Okay. So how do we denote it as? This will be denoted like this: probability of x k given e one is to t. Okay. What is k value? K value is less than t. It is the past. Okay. So k value is less than t. The so probability of getting uh, what is the probability of getting the uh, rain yesterday? okay so that we are finding by using this grouping okay but we have evidences till today but we are finding the probability uh, of past state okay so in the umbrella example it might mean computing the probability that it rained last wednesday so it is the past last wednesday given the observations of umbrella carrier made up to today okay we have observation till today but we are finding the probability of last wednesday is called um, smoothing okay so insight is provides better estimation of the state than was available at the time because it incorporates more evidences what is the importance of insight? It will be better estimation of the past state. Okay, because we have more evidences, no? Based on that, we are get, we will be getting better estimation of past state by using insight. That is the advantage. 
and now we'll discuss about most likely explanation so given sequence of observations we might wish to find the sequence of state that is most likely to have generated those observations so here we have sequence of observations now what is that we are doing we are able to find the sequence of states that is most likely to have generated these observations which are, which are the these observations are generating this sequence of state so we wish to find out this sequence of state that is generated by these observations okay so what is that here we do we are finding we wish to compute what is the most likely means maximum what is the maximum possible uh, states what are the maximum possible states we are finding that is what we are representing it as argument max of x1 is to t okay so here we are finding the probability of x1 is to t given evidence e1 is to t so here we are finding what is the most likely occurrence of sequence of state if the generated observations are given so that is probability of x1 is to t given e1 is to t okay so this is a uh, see here we are finding all the sequence of states x1 is to t whereas if you observe this filtering so in the first case filtering what is that we are finding we are finding the probability of current state that is x only xt we are finding what xt given e1 is to t that is called filtering whereas here in most likely occurring sequence what is that we are doing we are finding probability of x1 is to t given e1 is to t okay so for example if umbrella appears each of first three days so umbrella is seen first three days uh, umbrella is absent on fourth day so director did not bring umbrella on fourth day so then what is most likely explanation is that so most likely explanation is that the first three days it rained okay but it did not rain on the fourth day okay so based on the observations we are just finding what are the most likely uh, occurring uh, states okay what are the states here umbrella on the first three days uh, three days and on the fourth day the umbrella did not uh, director did not bring umbrella so it means that there is a rain first three days and uh, there is no rain on the fourth day okay so like that we are able to find out the most likely uh, occurring sequences of states what are the states here the rain gives the state observation here is umbrella okay based on the observations we are finding what are the most likely occurring states okay so this algorithms here we have discussed four algorithms no? that is first one filtering prediction smoothing and most likely occurring sequences okay so these algorithms are for this task okay are useful in many applications this is used in many applications so what are the applications it is used in speech recognition in the speech recognition it will be used what is it? speech recognition where we need to find out what are the most likely sequence of words okay given is a series of sound so if the series of sound is given we have to find out what are the most likely sequence of words okay and it is also used in construction of bit strings transmitted over noise channel okay so what are the construction of bit strings transmitted over noise channel this is also one of the application of this inference in temporal models 